One of the most common questions I get about our off-grid rammed earth tire home is how long did it take us to build that entire back wall from discarded tires packed with dirt? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we completed a 750 plus tire wall in 62 working days with just myself and my builder working full-time and his wife helping us out part-time. And of course, we had occasional help and encouragement from my two kids and our dog, Lily. Hey, Christina here with more tips and advice to guide you through creating an off-grid or sustainable home you'll love without the typical frustration, overwhelm, and costly mistakes. If this is your first time here, then make sure to hit that big subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you get notified when I launch a new video. So many people have a lot of preconceived notions about building with tires. Mostly, they think it takes a really long time to build a tire wall. And I have to admit that I had the same idea when I decided that I wanted to live in an Earthship style home. It seemed like an impossible task to build a house out of tires. And I had heard stories of houses that took years to build this way. In fact, I had heard about people who took years just to build their tire wall. And I knew that wasn't going to work for me. But I was so convinced that I could never build one myself that I was willing to consider moving to Taos, New Mexico just so I could buy one already built. But after touring dozens of Earth ships in Taos, I realized there was a lot of things that I didn't like about the particular houses I looked at. And I wasn't sure that moving my kids to Taos would be the best fit for us. I finally realized that if I wanted a house that fit my family in a place where we wanted to live, that I would have to just bite the bullet and build one myself. Now I had two young sons and I didn't want their childhood to be consumed with only building a house. I knew we could do anything for about a year to maybe 18 months. And I knew that we should complete the tire wall and get the house weather tight in one short Rocky Mountain building season. I knew that leaving a tire wall unfinished or a house exposed during a Colorado winter would not be a good idea. So I did some research and I found some ways to complete a tire wall with a small crew in a short amount of time. We used a pneumatic pogo pounder, which allowed us to sometimes complete 30 tires on a really good day. Most days it was more like 15 to 20 tires, but that's not bad for a two to three person crew. So join me for a trip down memory lane and I'll show you how we did it.
I can do it, then I know you can do it too. Building the tire wall is just but one phase of the construction, and it was the phase that actually presented very few problems. It's really straightforward and really low tech. And if building a home that is bermed into the earth is your goal, then tires are one of the easiest materials to use for the back wall. Very few materials other than steel reinforced concrete or steel reinforced concrete masonry units, known as CMU, will hold back or retain the earth behind a house. The other great benefit of building with tires is that you don't need to construct a concrete foundation. Tires act as their own foundation and you just prepare the site, lay out the tires and start pounding. Eliminating a concrete foundation eliminates a huge expense. And building with concrete is very expensive and it requires some really special skills. Most people would be forced to hire a special crew to build the forms, place the steel, and pour the concrete. Tires allow for a more organic look. You can create soft sweeping curves. And building feels kind of like sculpting a house. And living in a house created with these curves feels like living in a piece of art. Homes made from concrete just don't have the same feel. I embrace the idea of reusing tires that were considered waste, and it significantly reduced the cost of materials to build my house. And I call that a win-win. So if you really want a home like this, don't let building with tires intimidate you. It's far more realistic than you probably realize. Designing a home consciously and efficiently, either on the grid or off the power grid, can drastically reduce your building expenses, your utility bills, and your impact on the planet. You have many choices of conscious building materials. Choose materials that fit your environment, your building site, your skill level, and your lifestyle. And stay tuned as we explore other building materials, sustainable features, and designs. Please leave me a comment and share this video with anyone you know who may be interested in building an off-grid or sustainable home. It's easy to share. Just click the share button just below this video. You can copy the link or share it directly to your favorite social media platforms such as Facebook, Pinterest, or even Twitter. I post videos every Saturday morning, so stay tuned for more videos on designing, planning, and building your off-grid or sustainable home.